Taiga Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz In this tutorial, I'm going to review Taiga and show you how to use it So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and call go to taiga.io Or you can simply click the link on the description below And you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform and if you don't know Taiga, it is a project management platform that allows users to manage projects, tasks, and bugs based on Agile, Scrum, Kanban methodologies, in which it is a free and open source project management system that can handle both simple and complex projects. And aside from that, Taiga offers a range of features and templates to help users manage their projects effectively and efficiently. And also, Taiga is compatible with Windows 7 to Windows 11 and reportedly runs on Wine with limited functionality. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail by clicking on pricing option on the top panel. Below, you will see some of the plan that they offer including the free plan and the Taiga Cloud with premium support. And below, you will see the corresponding amounts and also the benefits it included. But in those options, I'm going to start using Taiga for free. And to do that, kindly click the button on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your username, your full name, email, and also to set or generate your own password. And upon signing in, you will be directed on this page. So this is a dashboard of taiga.io and from here you will see the projects that you're working on you're watching or any kind of project that you have and now to create new project just proceed by clicking new project button right here and after that from here it will show you the templates that can fit to your project better and we have here scrum kanban duplicate project and import project and by choosing the scrum it will prioritize and solve your task in short time cycles. Well, by using Kanban, it will keep a constant workflow on independent tasks. So in those options, I'm going to choose the Kanban option. So can I click on it and you will be directed in here. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to enter your project name. So let's say I'm going to enter here, project one. And after that below, you're also required to enter your project description that contain what your project all about. And after that below, you could also select either to make it public or private project. So I'm going to choose to make it private. Now proceed by clicking create project button below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And at this point, the next thing that you need to do is to verify your email address. And to do that, just go to your email inboxes and kindly click this email and proceed by clicking confirm email button in which upon clicking on it you will be directed on this next tab so from here just click this verify email button and after successfully verifying your email address you can now go back to this website and from here you could also change your proto change your password set start pages email notifications desktop notifications access the events and paid plans now going back to this dashboard right here from here on the top panel, you could also navigate by clicking this icon on the top right corner, also known as the Discover Projects option. And by clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you some of the projects that has been public. And aside from that, you will also see here the number of likes, the number of views, and the number of members within a specific kind of projects. And to see the project, just proceed by clicking on it such as this Taiga project. If we simply clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And on this page, it will show you the number of team members on the right side panel and also the number of activities that happen or some of the action that has been made by the members or team in this project. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you have here the issues option in which using this issue option, it will allow users to submit issue related to project and this issue can be used to signal a bug 
ask a question, propose an enhancement, and any other such actions depending on the issue types that have been customized by the user. And to create new issue, just proceed by clicking this button right here, and the next thing that you need to do is to enter the subject of the issue and also add the description of what the issue all about. And you could also add an attachment below and also select the category including new, incomplete, ready, in progress, staging, and many more. And aside from that, you will also see the type of issue including bug and the severity and even the priority of this issue. And you can even set a due date of this issue by clicking this icon right here. And now to proceed, just click the create button below to create an issue. Now going back to this page by clicking the project one or the recently project that we just customized. From here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that we could also navigate including this Kanban. And by clicking on it, it will show us that we can simply add a task by clicking this plus button right here. The next thing that we need to do is to enter or to fill out all of the required information such as the subject, the description of this task, and you can even attach or upload an attachment from your computer files. Well, on the right side panel, you will be able to choose a category and also the location of it either at the bottom or on the top. And aside from that, you could also set the schedule, assign a person to this task, and if you are now done customizing the task, you can now proceed by clicking the create button below. And after that, your task will reflect under the new section, but you could also locate this to ready section in progress, ready for test, and another kind of section. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate the team option in which by clicking on it, you will see here the list of the people or the members of your team. And aside from that, by clicking the settings option on the left side panel, you will see here on the left side panel the project attributes, members, permissions, integrations, and plugins. And to add the members of your team, just proceed by clicking this members option. And from here, just proceed by clicking the button new member on the top right corner. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to enter an email or username of the person that you want to invite to your team. And aside from that, you could also navigate the project option in which by clicking on it, from here you can navigate the statuses such as new, ready, in progress, ready for tests, done. And from here, you could also add new status that you prefer. And aside from that, you could also navigate the points, priorities, severities, types, custom fields, tags, due dates, and Kanban options. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate the permissions, the integrations, or some of the application that you want to integrate, and also the plugins option. So basically, Taiga offers an intuitive user interface for cross-functional teams and no training and complex setup is required. And Taiga tracks the progress of a project and allows user to use either Kanban or Scrum template or both. And aside from that, under the project and module section, from here, you could also turn on the issues option. And by turning this on, the issue option will now reflect to your left side panel so that your members of your team can also raise an issue on this project. So that is just how you can use Taiga. Thank you.